are here. We just landed in Addis Ababa, the bustling capital of Ethiopia, and this amazing urban center. It's incredible to look around. There's restaurants, there's coffee shops everywhere. You know, it's not unlike a North American community where there's urban centers and rural centers. So we're really excited to explore, to go to the markets, to see what's local, in season and fresh, and really just to get a great picture of this beautiful city and this beautiful country. Okay, it is coffee time. I have dreamed on a personal level of having Ethiopian coffee in Ethiopia since I started drinking coffee. It is ground zero. It is everything that you can imagine it would be. It is so good, so worth coming here to try. Of course, we are here with World Vision Canada, and we're so excited to learn stories of how food and community are colliding here at the table. We're gonna record a number of films of stories of folks here in World Vision communities, learn more about local Ethiopian cuisine, learn more about food, learn more about coffee, and learn more about the work that World Vision is doing here locally. But first and foremost, coffee time. One of the best ways to learn about local food, local culture, local cuisine is to go to a local market. We're at Mercato, which is one of the largest open air markets in all of the continent of Africa. I'm particularly interested in learning more about Berbera, which is used extensively in Ethiopian cuisine. And I know I'm gonna cook with it a lot on this trip. Okay, and what's this called? We call it Berberi. Berberi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Berberi. Yeah, right. Am I pronouncing it right? Yeah. It smells fantastic. The color is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very tasty when you eat it with injera. Yeah, okay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. The other one is this one. So we use it to, to color the sauce. So okay. It becomes like yellowish. Kind right. Of thing. Would these be cooked separately or together? So when you want to cook like with a vegetable, yes. you, you use this one. Okay. And like when you cook lentils or there is another yeah. sauce, we call it churro. Okay, yeah. Berberi will be added like on that. Oh, okay, very cool. Okay, so we are in the spice section of this market. There's spices everywhere. It smells fantastic. It's almost overwhelming how fragrant it smells. These are Berberi peppers they're dried and that eventually is ground into what is up there which is what we're gonna buy the ground berberi kind of the quintessential spice used in Ethiopian food Woo! that's good okay so we have our Berberi spice here, it's ground Berberi. I'm excited to learn how to cook with it. I'm excited to use it in communities and learn how families use it here in different parts of Ethiopia. And I'm almost just as excited to go home and try my hand at using this spice in my own food. Mm -hmm. 